Hello and welcome to the new video about Katia macros. Today we have one macro for making Lego blocks. We had already something same, but today we have different approach. Let's open start part for Lego. You can see in the part tree that this part is parameterized. We can just change number of pins and rows and model will be updated. We use drool for this. When you download part you can see it. We explain a little bit in our post. We need to open our main product, it must be saved in any location. As you can see we need to set location of this product in our macro code and also location of the start lego part. Have this two things in mind, before you start the macro. Now let's run the macro code, first we need to select product, after that macro will run new from command and open that start part from specifies location. Now we need to enter number of rows it can be 1 or 2, and number of pins, it can be any number bigger than 2. At the end we need to enter new name for this part. Macro will save part of the location and add to the product. This is much easier to do with application but we want to show you using script too. In app you need to specify part name at the beginning and after that you need to choose product. You can choose between two options with one or two rows and you need to enter pin number. In this case you don't need to put any location, all is done by application. When you set all, just run macro, actions are the same in background. For second time you just need to change name and number of pins rows and run macro. In this video we want to show you how to position these Lego blocks easy. In start part we made access system for easy connecting these blocks. We will just make coincidence between two access systems. With this approach you can easily make Lego models. One more good thing about this is that you alwazi have those parameters in every part so you can easily change number of pins and rows. Check our website for more free cool macros. Help us with donation or click on any ads.